Today we're going to be installing a Z06 style hood vent on a C7 Corvette. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to be installing a Z06 style front hood vent on my wife's Stingray. Now, uh, most of you know that the Stingray and the Z51, as well as the Grand Sport, comes with the standard vent that's just like this. It's solid all the way across. Every vent is the same all the way down. Uh, Extreme Online has come out with a new vent. It's available in carbon flash as well as carbon fiber. And uh, I'm going to put that information on the screen. But uh, you can see here that it looks just like, I'm going to hold it up here to the camera, you can see that it looks just like the Z06. So it fits in this, the hole of the Grand Sport and the Stingray, but yet it looks like the, Grand, or the, uh, the Z06. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to put it in. It's relatively simple to do. You have to pull the hood liner back. I'm going to give you a couple different ideas on how to do that. We've got to take a couple things loose. Nothing major. It's going to be a fairly simple installation. So uh, sit back and relax and we'll show you how it's done. All right, guys, we're underneath the hood here and we're going to go ahead. We've got to take, going to take two 15 Torx out. So we're just going to take those out. I'm just going to use my screwdriver for this. These come out pretty easy. I'll set those down right there. Okay, just like that. Set that down. Then at that point, you can just reach up in underneath here and you can pull this down. And just snap it on with snap clips. Okay, you want to hold on to it because you don't want it to drop down and uh, drop onto your paint. Okay. Just going to set that here off to the side. Now, at this point, you've got some uh, actual keeper pins that they're just plastic pins that hold this vent in place. Okay, so all you're going to need to do is you just need to get underneath there, and you can pull this hood liner back just a little bit. You could elect to go ahead and take the liner out, or you can just pull it out just a little bit here and just slides into the bumper or into the, the hood like you can see right here. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to get, you can get right underneath there, right between the, you know, hopefully the camera's showing that, I'll try to zoom it in. But I got these tools here from Harbor Freight and you can see that just pops loose. Okay, so you just, just kind of work your way around. like that. You can do that on this side up here too. They are in pretty tight and they make a lot of noise when you're pulling them out but they'll come loose and then at this point you can get it to come loose. Okay, I might be blocking your view here but it's just going to pull it down. Now at this point, all I'm doing, is I'm just going to grab it. I'm going to push outward here, just like that. And you make sure you're holding on to it, guys, because you don't. Again, you don't want it to drop through and drop onto the uh, onto the bumper. Now let me bring this around to the camera here so you can see. So this has some retainer clips all the way around here, okay? So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna take these little guys out, you're just gonna transfer those over, and you're gonna transfer them into, uh, into the new vent, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll do that, and then we'll be right back. We've got our clips moved over, okay, as you can see, but well, there's one other thing that we have to transfer. I'm gonna set that down here just for a second. And there are four clips right here, one, two, three, and four. And this is what holds the, uh, the trim underneath the, the uh, hood onto this piece. So we've got to transfer these off. So you're just really going to do this just by taking a screwdriver and popping these loose and transferring them onto the tabs in the same spot on the other one. So we'll be right back with that, okay? All right, guys, now that we've got our, all of our clips on our vent, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to get this up in here 
make sure that we've got this clear so we can get this tucked away underneath the hood liner. Okay? And then once you've got that in there like that, then what you want to do is you want to try to push one of the clips up so you got it where it will hold it so you can come around. And I'm still holding it from the other side, but I want to make sure that everything is clear here. And then you can see I'm pushing it in. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now again, you could take the hood liner loose and you wouldn't have to fight this at all, but that's a lot of extra work. Okay, and you're just pulling it all the way up. And that locked in place just like that. Okay, so now at this point, we're going to go ahead and we're going to tuck our, our hood liner back in. Back into the hood. There's that little slot that's right there. We'll be able to show you a little bit better, I think, on the other side. If I pull this back, you should be able to see a line right here, a little hole. That's where that's going. Tuck right up inside there like that. And now we've got, we've got everything ready to go. At that point, we can go ahead and we can grab our, our inner vent. Now, as long as we got our clips on there right, then we'll be able to go ahead and this should just snap on. Okay. Again, hold on to it. Make sure you're holding on to this thing. You don't want it to drop. But you can see what I'm doing is I'm just literally just tapping it in place. Just like that. I'll come around to the other side. Point. All we're going to do is we're just going to put our 215 Torx back in. Just like that. No need to over tighten them, just snug them up. That's it, guys. So guys, that's how you install a Z06 style hood extractor on a Stingray. It's not that hard as you can see. Very simple to do and you can get it in carbon flash or carbon fiber. So reach out to Extreme Online Store. I'm going to put that information right here on the screen and they will be able to help you out. If you are in this area and you need something like this installed or any of the other things that you've seen me install in our shop, please reach out to me. I'm going to go ahead and put that information here on the screen and I'll be happy to give you a quote on getting it installed. So guys, thank you guys again for watching. You guys have a great night.